August 27th, St. Joseph Calisans. Joseph, who was born on September 11th in the year 1556, grew up in a wealthy family in Spain and was ordained a priest in the year 1583. In the year 1592, he resigned his post and gave his wealth to the poor so he could begin serving the uneducated indigent in Rome. Then, alongside his friend, St. Camillus de Lellis, Joseph served the plague-stricken in Rome in the year 1595, but soon returned to his ministry of teaching. He was especially troubled about children with little means who were growing up in violent surroundings with no hope for a good future or for Christian training. So Joseph opened free schools in Europe. Getting good teachers was difficult, however. First, Pope Clement VIII and then Pope Paul V encouraged Joseph in his forming of a religious order of men in order to staff the schools. At this time, Joseph was elected the head of his order clerks regular of the religious schools also called the pyrus then the attacks began when students from private schools switched to the free schools their former teachers were angry many rich people were threatened by the thought of the underprivileged people learning new ideas these powerful people tried to stop the free schools even worse members of his own order began a campaign of slander and detraction against him these men so convinced the pope that something might be wrong within the order that at the age of eighty six joseph was arrested and had to stand trial before the holy office as a result joseph's work was stopped and the members of his order became part of the regular diocese in spite of all this joseph protected his persecutors from the angry comments of others he never lost hope that one day his religious order would again be restored and poor children would be served through it he died in the year 1648. The Pyrrhus were reestablished in 1656 by Pope Clement IX. Their founder was canonized in the year 1767 and is honored as the patron of Christian schools. This saint followed his calling from God to leave Spain and go to Rome. He was a man of noble background with relevance in the kingdom of Aragon. He left everything and goes to Rome to found a Christian congregation that God desired him to institute. He goes and founds it, but after a period of normal growth, the time comes when because of internal calamities and defamations, the congregation is closed, his work destroyed. This is probably the worst trial of his entire life. He undoubtedly asks himself whether the congregation was being punished because of his own infidelity. This most likely was his supreme trial. Indeed, what man, even if he is a saint, cannot find in his conscience a fault or at least some shadow that can call down divine wrath. Then his agony of spirit it what was that infidelity active ingratitude or movement of soul that in the final analysis ruined my work but saint callisans had confidence in divine providence and peace in his soul he preserved a peace amidst the sadness of his situation keeping his eyes on our lady and our lord jesus christ he did not see his congregation re-established during his life however when he died he heard that invitation our lord makes to every just man come my good and faithful servant and enter into the glory of your lord then and only then he understood that failure was not his fault from heaven he got to see his congregation re-established actually it was reborn and became a great work throughout the world let us pray then to St. Joseph Calisans that the fervor of his order and that of the whole church be restored and the conciliar revolution come to an end. 